definitely with my lovely French, uh, Spain friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think so too. With uh, France, it is. But with German, me, no. And Italian and Portuguese, we are all similar. And English, we have really like common words. I think there are some words in yeah. each of your you know, languages. But I think it's easier for English speakers to learn Spanish. So I think that's the easiest language. So maybe we can learn that easiest? No. <laughs> I, no. Mean, <laughs> I mean, the most hardest thing for me is the pronunciation in every language. I don't mind about the grammar, I don't mind about others, just pronunciation. So I think English is one of the hardest language, but not the most. Mm. I think for me, they are pretty the same, but it's actually because I had to study French in high school uh -huh. and it was so <laughs> hard and I was so confused. So now every other language is not that hard. Okay. <laughs> French is the worst. French, uh, uh, it was so mm. hard. It was so hard. I, I learned like German at school also, <laughs> but I did only two years after I gave up. <laughs> In the US, post. In France, we will say envoyé. Uh, in Spanish, we would say correo. In German, it's post. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Same! <laughs> Twinsies! Yeah, twinsies! <laughs> but yours were, sounded like very different. Yeah. 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 Yours and mine, nothing. <laughs> like, well, actually, envoyé is not related only to letters or like to post office, it's really like you can send anything like email or like a ball or whatever. Oh, it's send, it's literally send. And how would you call the post office? La Poste. Post. Uh, so I think <laughs> that would be. That one is similar. Post office, correo. Oficina de correos. Correo. Post. 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 <laughs> yeah. In the US, park. En France. <laughs> Why I speak French? In French, parc. In Spanish, parque. In German, we say park. Mm. Oh. Similar. Similar, but all a little different. Are you from the, from the same country? Or <laughs> I know. I didn't realize that we had so many similarities. Parque. Parc. There is the Parc. of the R again. Parc. <laughs> 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 Sounds like I'm choking. Parc. Parc. That bad park. Park. Mm. Oh. park. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of <laughs> the French people. Like you, you take the air, the air inside you, like <gasps> like park. <laughs> <laughs> this no, like the inverse, like park. 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 Oh, it sounds actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> she's like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, because like you insist too much on the R. Uh. It's not too much like I exaggerate exaggerating because like to make you understand but yeah. it's more like soft like that. So just forget the R and put the K. Park. 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 And park. 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 In the US, friend. In France, ami. In Spanish, amiga feminine, amigo masculine. In Germany it's Freundin feminine and friend male. Yeah. Similar, similar. Yeah, mm. again, we're, the we're same thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then you guys are quite similar too. I didn't realize that there were a lot of similarities with your language. Mm. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, it sounds cute. <laughs> ami. You're my ami. Ami. <laughs> <laughs> In Spanish, we have like colega. It's like dude. Uh huh. Colega. There is no feminine word, it's just colega for woman and for men. That's the name of a German rapper, you know? Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Colega? Yeah. He chose it well. Maybe, maybe that's why. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he chose it on purpose. Or maybe, maybe. Colega. I'm not sure. In France, we have a uh, yeah, pot. Oh? <laughs> pot. Your, pot? Oh. You're my pot. You're my pot. <laughs> my it's pot. for feminine and masculine. Oh. Like pot. Oh, we are pot. Well, in English, it sounds weird, <laughs> like we World are pots. <laughs> Actually, we have something like similar. Some people say like colleague, but mainly it's like mm. between guys, not so much for girls. Mm. Because colleague actually, it's like co-worker. Mm. It's also co-worker, but some people use it as like between guys. Oh, uh, we do same in France. Ah, really? Yeah. Oh, you're my colleague. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
US, we say BMW. In France, we say BMW. In Spain, we say BMW. In German, we say BMW. And what about that, that long version? What is uh, that? Bayerische Motorenwerke. We don't say that because who, who has time for that? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. Bayerisch means Bavarian, so that's actually the state uh -huh. I'm from. Motor is the engine mm. and Werke is like a factory kind of like mm. that. So it's yeah. just like the long name, but nobody says that. Oh, you yeah. would never go, I bought a car from Bayerische Motoren. <laughs> <laughs> nobody does that. Oh no, okay. Bayerische Motoren work. Wow. <laughs> that's so bad. Wow. <laughs> Bayerisch Motorenwerke. Oh, that wow. was good actually. Oh. Bayerisch Motorenwerke. Oh, that was awesome. That was not good. Oh. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> In the US, frozen. In France, La Reine des Neiges. So you guys don't say frozen? We don't say frozen. Like the La Reine des Neiges means the queen of the snow. Yeah. Ah, same in Germany. Mm. So Ice Königin in German. Oh. It's like queen of the ice. So, so <laughs> then you, you translate the name, the title of the movie as your own meaning in your country? Yeah. You don't have frozen movie. Most of the mm. times German like when there is like a German dub of a movie, they change the title too, so mm -hmm. people can understand it. Mm. Mm. Especially for like movies for kids, like this one. Yeah, yeah if they just put Frozen, like kids are not gonna mm. know what that's right. supposed to mean. Yeah, makes sense. Mm. Uh, in Spanish, we say Frozen. So in, in Spanish, Frozen is nothing. It's not a Spanish word, so we know it's Frozen. But if I have to translate, maybe the, the French and the German will be La Reina de las Nieves. No. And we don't say that. In the US, sun. In France, soleil. In Spanish, sol. In German, sonne. Yours was a little different, I think, yeah. compared to everyone else. <laughs> so we two have the L and you guys have the N. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Isn't yeah. there like Cirque du Soleil or something like that? Yeah, yeah, I was uh. thinking about that. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, so, so, so late circus. Yeah, sir, it's mm. a famous circus. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what never, are they talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I never like. It's all okay. in Europe, just. Yeah, right, yeah. I, guess. I, I think so. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but I think so. It's very famous in Europe. Mm. Mm. Mond. Mm. Uh, we are similar to. Oh really? Luna. Ah, you and me. Mm. Oh. Luna. Luna. Yeah, Luna. Very so moon, 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 Luna and. Like by writing, it's really similar to. Oh, that's a super popular name for dogs, like tiny See? dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah right. they're always Luna, Luna. or Stella. Luna. Stella is star oh. and Luna is moon, right? right. So they're always Luna. like Luna right. or Stella. Mm. <laughs> Luna is my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, also for it's names too. <laughs> Luna is a beautiful so name. I would say Frozen because I like it. <laughs> Just because you like it. Only reason. I like Disney, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, for me, I think BMW, just hearing the <laughs> German way to say it, the actual way, it's like, was really difficult. So I thought yeah. that was interesting. Right. I, I, I had no idea about the meaning, so now mm. I'm more smart. I'm smarter than before. <laughs> for me, I guess post. Because I, I, I knew the other ones a little bit, but post, no. Mm. So I'm surprised that post in the US, like in English and German, is the same. I mean, the same writing at least. Mm. So. I think I really like the French title for Frozen. Mm. It sounds so fancy. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a like children's movie. It mm. sounds too fancy. <laughs> So today we compared words between the US and Europe. So if you like the video, please like, share and comment. See you next time. Bye. Bye.